y'all it's your boy aj and this is aj reacts to we just seen the lion king mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about it we're gonna have a discussion let's do it so yeah let's let's do it um let's start where we always do with the story it was a shot for shot remake and there was like some things added you have to be very careful especially when you're messing with people's childhood this is like people grew up with this right. so you know Okay. Things like that. Some of the things that they added, I think you could have missed if you haven't seen the movie recently. And it could have just, like, went by. Um, so, I really enjoyed the story. I like the things that they changed. I like the things that they um, stayed the same. Overall, I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. You saying, oh, they're messing with people's childhood. Mm -hmm. Like, you're already messing with people's childhood by doing a live-action film. <sighs> Yeah, you're right. Honestly. You're right. Because I just saw something on Twitter that was like, and my sister mentioned this in the movie, like, because they're real, they show no emotion. That's the problem. That, and that's something I was so going to touch on. People were yeah. like, oh, they should have, like, these animated eyes and stuff. And, like, I don't necessarily agree with that. I just mm. think it would have looked too unrealistic. Like, but I can see where they're coming from at the yeah. same time. I mean... I wasn't, we knew that Simba was sad, even though we couldn't see it on his face, like. Yeah, we did, but I just feel like it was so emotionless, like, because, mm -hmm. because you could compare it to, I hate compare, like, when I do my movie, movie reviews, I hate comparing, like, the classic with the now, because I want to review it as it is, you know, but yeah. with this story, like, it's so close to, you know, hit so close to home, it, like, I kind of have to compare it. And when, you know, that's like the devastation on Simba's face when Mufasa dies, when he finds out that Mufasa mm -hmm. is dead. It's like almost no comparison right. to any other cartoon, but you know, that, cartoon death. <laughs> what? But that when he died and he saw or he fell or something, yeah. and Simba was like, no! Right. That was honestly hilarious. It was just like, <laughs> so hard. it was a little cringy. It, I thought it was a little cringy. I I I came into the movie feeling like it was a little cringy. Mm. Like when they started talking, I was like, "Oh no!" Mm. Like it just looked so unrealistic. Yeah, and I, mean, I can see that. Some scenes were like, "Are we watching National Geographic <laughs> or are we watching Lion King?" Right. Like, but you know, I'm not I'm not loving this live action with animals. Oh, this okay. was better than the Jungle Book yes. by far. Yes. But I'm not loving live action with animals. At least there was no people in it. I think that made it. Better. I think I think it definitely did. Um, yeah. I think with Jungle Book, this is kind of getting off topic. But I think with Jungle Book, they just needed better actors. Mm -hmm. If the, if they're gonna have people, they just need better actors. Maybe somebody that's noteworthy, somebody that we know. Um, I think that'll get people to go to the movie anyway. Yeah. You know, like Aladdin had Will Smith. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll get people yeah. to go. The story, the story is it's, great. It's, it's not, right. yeah, it's not much to say. Not much more to say about right. the story. Oh, I think personally, I think Timon and Pumbaa took the story and ran with it. Like mm -hmm. I think that they were a really good addition. Yeah. You know, and their ad lib and the things that they mm -hmm. changed just it, they stole the show. I feel like. I haven't seen the animated version of Lion King in a long time, mm. but I feel like the movie was two hours, which was kind of shocking to me. Was, was it? that inclu including? Maybe that was including previews. But no. um, I think it was like an hour and thirty minutes, maybe forty. Which is understandable for a kids' movie. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. but I kind of felt like there wasn't a lot of time for. Like, us seeing any relationship between Mufasa and Simba, like, before he died. Or, you know, afterwards when Simba came back, like, it was just, like, the fight. And then Scar's mm. dead. That's it. You know, there wasn't really 
a lot going on or oh this is life afterwards you know maybe that's something that they could have added yeah like and made it their own a little yeah bit. yeah yeah because i think you're uh you're complaining about the original story there because that's exactly how it happens yeah. in the original story yeah but i i mean i don't know if i would feel that way in the original i don't well since it's a since it's a cartoon right yeah right. i might not feel that same way Mm, that's a good point. Yeah, it was it was kind of quick. It was kind of quick, and mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I think another reason is just because we didn't get those expressions. We didn't get those. You I, know, that was in the back of my. Mind. It was just hard to feel for these characters mm -hmm. to for these you know animals mm -hmm. because they just were just like plain faced the whole time. You know. You couldn't really get them to smile because that would have been too corny, too right. cheesy, and it wouldn't really feel like a live action movie. But I think they tried to like make that, you know, add some emotion to the characters by making them funny. Or, yeah. you know, like when Simba came and was trying to like attack the butterflies and mm. the and the deer, the antelope. Did that happen in the real movie? Like, I think so. He was like, oh my gosh, so, you know, like. <laughs> Like, acted scared. So yeah. I think that, you know, maybe it helpfully added a little bit. Yeah, the voices, um, the voices really did impact, um, impact what was happening and how we felt about what was going on. And, uh, Seth Rogen and Billy Eichner as Timon and Pumbaa, nice choice. Very nice choice, I think. Mm -hmm. We got, uh, Simba, Zazu, Mufasa, um... Nala. Zabar Nala Zabari, um, and that's the mom. Sarabi. That's yeah. I Sarabi. Think. Sarabi. You're you're right. You're completely right. <laughs> I don't know what what did I even say. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> and then we have uh, Timon and Pumbaa. Okay. And I think all Scar. The, Scar. Yeah. And. You know, the hyenas. The hyenas, yeah. The characters, I mean, like like we said, it, it was basically a shot for shot remake. So the characters <laughs> were well written. Donald Glover as Simba. I don't. I didn't have a problem with them talking necessarily. Like, what's the name's voice was very distinct. Beyonce's voice was very distinct. Yes. I had a tiny bit of a problem with the singing. With young mm. Simba and, and maybe a little bit of old Simba. Mostly young Simba. Because why are you doing runs as you're singing? To they me, want they want a twist. They want to add a little <laughs> add a little spice Look, to it. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm not going to say nothing, nothing else. Okay. No, you can say okay, speak, okay. speak your truth. Okay. Speak your truth. I've seen the the kid that played Simba in other things, yeah. like Little, mm -hmm. and just like he became internet famous from YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. He's a runner. Yeah. He so I feel like like that's just kind of what he did because that's who he is. Like yeah. he's not vocally trained. He's young, mm -hmm. so he's trying to do what he's good at yeah. instead of just singing and belting like. Um, what's her name? Young Nala? She sounded really good. She was good. And I'm like, is yeah, she a young... singer? I don't think so. Yeah, uh, Young Simba, yeah, with the runs, and I, honestly, I didn't think he sounded that great. Mm, singing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the acting, the voice acting was okay. Mm -hmm. I think his voice acting was cool. Yeah. But the singing, I didn't really care for mm -hmm. completely. Especially when he was singing with... So, Timon and Pumbaa. And mm -hmm. I honestly want to blame it on mm. Timon and Pumbaa because they're not singers. <laughs> they're definitely... Well, no, no. Uh, Timon is. Timon, Timon yes, is. Timon uh, is. Billy Eichner, he is yes, a singer. He could. He sounded good. I, I will admit to that. But, you know, Pumbaa did not sound great. It was just like he's talking singing. Yeah, and that was, that was kind of obvious because with the old one, Pumbaa couldn't sing right. hardly either. He's right. real raspy and really, you know, like that. So, you want to... Talk about Beyonce. <laughs> we talking? ain't disrespecting the queen, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Look, Ooh. Beyonce, I mean, okay, she was fine when she came for Sim. I I would say she was fine when she came for Sim, but there might, may have been like a little bit of cringy parts just because we know her voice so well. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was very like, like 
this is Beyonce. This is not Nala, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. So I think that yeah. might have been an issue yeah. as well. But people people couldn't stand her, you know, voice acting. They mm -hmm. said she was really bad. Yeah. Um, honestly, I didn't find a whole lot of problem with it. Right. How mm -hmm. about you? I, I won't say that I did. I mean, maybe it's like, the only thing that I'll say is that she might not have brought enough emotion in her voice mm. to the character. Mm -hmm. She could have tried to done, do that better. That's possible. Um, her singing, when she sang uh, Can You Feel the Love Tonight with Donald Glover, I think that she kind of drowned out Donald Glover. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's I feel like that's a natural thing. Like, Donald Glover isn't like this big world famous famous and he is a singer he does sing mm -hmm. but like to beyonce's level and that strength the vocal strength there is not really there right so um that's how i feel about that um i think the song i liked the song it just kind of like was i feel like it should have been more equal they mm -hmm. could have uh evened it out a little bit between the two characters what'd you think about zazu i thought zazu was good mm -hmm. i had like a touch of an issue with him when I listened to the soundtrack mm -hmm. because I was like, this is not Zazu's voice. Mm -hmm. I think I had just listened to the animated version. Uh -huh. So I was like, Ugh. Listen to him back to back. Right. So mm -hmm. I was like, ooh, I don't really like it. But in the movie, he was fine. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't mind I didn't mind him at all. Scar was good, I'll say. Scar. Scar was pretty good. Yeah, Scar was cool. I, I think I, I think all the um the intimidation and you know, the the whole mystery behind him was cool. And also, I wanted to say, be prepared. It was never my favorite song. Mm -hmm. But yeah. this one just That's seemed cool. even worse mm. for some reason. What do you think? Um, Like, like I said, I, under my breath, it's kind of a forgettable song for me. Mm -hmm. Out of all of the songs agree. on there, that's would, not like agree. one of the top ones at all. But people love it, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, that's some of pe like people are like be prepared is gonna be you know it's gonna be really good you know mm -hmm. or like we you know people really like that song yeah, yeah. um and not everybody is gonna like the same things right. like you know because mine is i just can't wait to be king that's my favorite song and some people are like that song is weak you know mm -hmm. so people yeah. you know to each his own with yeah. that yeah. but yeah it, i think it's forgettable as well yeah. i don't think that i think maybe there could have been more drama to it. Yes. And that would have added some more, like, a lot of, you know, symphony and band behind him mm -hmm. or just, like, somehow in the studio make his voice sound stronger and mm -hmm. bigger or something. Mm -hmm. Like, I think mm -hmm. that would have helped out. Uh, Scar apparently had a, a past with Sarabi. Mm -hmm. You don't and remember that. That wasn't in the original. Oh, really? No, that wasn't in the original where um, there was like a love triangle between Mufasa, Sarabi, and Scar. You know, that's his brother. He said, well, you had he said, what did he say? He said, you had uh, a chance to uh, have a life with me and you chose my brother. Like, mm -hmm. I was, that took me off guard and I think that was a good addition to uh, the story. He said this in the original that uh, Mufasa uh, is stronger than him in in strength, but not brains. Yeah. So it kind of it kind of hinted at the fact that he gave him the scar. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It, it's a little bit of a reach, but I feel like that if that was true, it would make him even more resentful and would add to the story of why Scar really wants to be king. Right. So. And do you think do you think that Scar is smarter than? Mufasa? Certainly. Yeah. Certainly. I mean, how many times? Well, tr Simba's a baby. Simba's yeah. a cub. Yeah. But, like, he tricked him so many times. He tricked Zazu. He tricked Trick. Mufasa. Yeah, he's, like, a, he's a smart dude. Yeah. And that's how he got so far. That's how he became king for so long, for, like, 15 years. And that's how he became king. So, mm -hmm. but it was his downfall because he was so stubborn and so evil. So. Mm -hmm. Good wins every time. I uh, mean, I, honestly, them creating all of this stuff with special effects. Right. What did you think? Okay, something that I noticed that was small and I mm -hmm. feel like, you know, probably true to lions in general mm -hmm. was their ears twitching. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that? I didn't notice that? That. Like, that's a, that's a small, subtle detail, but I didn't notice their that. Their ears were twitch a lot, you know? Hmm. 
I'm and I know cats do that. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or cats. So. Yep. I would say, you know, it was true to like actual I don't really know, but I would say it's you know, they looked like real animals. Oh to yeah. Me. Oh yeah, they did. And I feel like they got their bone structure and the, their movements and like you could see their back and like how the bones like move and shifted. Like that looked really real. Right. So I don't know if they use actual um animals to, you know, study them and that they had to. They they would have had to study and but I don't know if they actually had the animals there yeah. and like took their movements, captured their movements and applied mm -hmm. them digitally. Uh, that would be really interesting to find out. I think the original is always going to be the best. It's the original. But it was good. Mm -hmm. I I say everybody should see it. Like all of this mm -hmm. bad talk about yeah. it, I don't think. It's like, come on now. Like this is a Lion King. This should have a special place in your heart no matter what. Yes. To, so, like, try to enjoy it. So. Yeah. Stop with the hate. Yeah. Stop it. Love. Just stop More it. Love. Yeah. <laughs> so, um. Closing. Um, I got to give a score. Okay. Um, let's see. Out of 10, mm. I would probably give it an 8.5. Okay. 8.5 out of 10. What about you? Uh, I'm bad at this. You got to, you got to do, you got to tell me something. Okay. 8.5. I'll say, I'll say an 8. 8? Okay. What, what, that, that half a point, uh, the half a point, what, you know, <laughs> I gotta I ask. I know how much you loved it. Mm. So I'm like, okay, I didn't, I know I'm not on that level. I love the original. Okay, is, and that's adding to some points for you. No. Okay. That's not. That's just taking the movie and for what it is, just by itself, not adding anything to, not adding the classic one to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was deserving of an 8.5. Timon and Pumbaa, the uh, Be My Guest uh, cami, or what was it? The, the Be My Guest song that they sang. That wasn't in the original? No. Oh. No, that was hilarious. That was good. I thought that was hilarious. If you liked our movie review to The Lion King mm -hmm. Remake, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, <laughs> head down to the comments. Uh, we love to talk Lion King, live action, Disney, anything. Wow. I'm down in the comments. Uh, follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, AJ Reacts 2. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys uh, next time.